Here we go. Welcome back. Richland is a great place for outdoor recreation with almost all your adventure needs satisfied. One of our most popular outdoor destinations is Badger Mountain. The Badger Mountain Centennial Preserve is a county park and the city of Richland's contribution is Trailhead Park, which primarily serves as a trailhead or starting point to take advantage of the hiking trails on Badger Mountain. The park receives about a quarter of a million visitors a year and that number has been on the rise for several years. Heavy use, coupled with a foreseeable road project, has made the need to expand parking inevitable. Trailhead Park is the largest city park without a master plan, but that's about to change. To ensure that the new parking lot is constructed in the correct spot, staff has been busy talking to community groups, meeting with residents, and hosting public open house meetings to help guide the creation of the park's first master plan. So what we try to do at this public meeting and we try to do at others when we do master planning is to put into pictures what our citywide park master plan says are definitions for parks. So Trailhead Park is a community park and community park according to our park master plan contains a certain number of elements and it could be fields, it could be uh, restrooms, or it could be a whole, whole host of amenities. We also have neighborhood parks and regional parks and linear parks and other definitions that include their own amenities. So we put into pictures what that park master plan says in a narrative form. So we developed four alternatives ranging from almost a no action alternative, which would be on the low end of intensity, all the way up to a high end of intensity, which included a recreation center and other pretty intense public uses, because that's what our plan says could be in a community park. So we had this range of, of options that we put in front of the public meeting for input and we did receive pretty consistent feedback that our trailhead park ought to be consistent with the Badger Mountain Centennial Preserve and essentially left in a natural condition. So our original conversation with the Port of Kennewick started with a parking lot and that's the reason we we're going through this master planning effort to make sure that we install that parking lot in the right location. So parking is needed at, at Trailhead Park. Uh, there's a quarter million visitors every year to that facility and on a spring or summer Saturday morning, the local streets are heavily used by, by cars parking to go and hike the park. And uh, in some cases it creates a situation that uh, we're not altogether comfortable with in terms of where people are crossing the street in order to get access to the park. So we are certainly interested in creating additional off-street parking. So every one of our four alternatives that we put in front of the public at this open house meeting included an expansion of the parking lot. At the moment, we're looking at expanding the parking lot nearby where the existing parking lot is. So it's a sloped area, and we have two um, sort of terrace tiers of parking currently. All the master plan alternatives show two additional tiers of parking all the way up to the developed portion of the park. So um, one corner of the park um, would be finished out with, with parking, and basically all in attendance at the public house, public open house, supported that idea. After that. So a lot of park projects depend on, on partnerships with community groups or other public agencies and this parking lot project that we'll be pursuing in 2015 is exclusively due to a partnership with the Port of Kennewick. So we want to thank the Port of Kennewick for stepping forward and helping to address the situation. If you are not available to attend the public open house but would like to view the four master plan options, you can do so by visiting www.richlandparksandrec.com. Once there, you will need to click on the Parks and More tab and then Parks Master Plan. If you would like to provide your input into the planning process, you can still do so by attending a Parks Commission or a City Council meeting. And remember, if you park along Queensgate or close by residential streets, follow our traffic laws and never block fire hydrants or driveways. <laughs>